Welcome to the Mini Glacier Hotel. This hotel is located in the Switzerland of North America on the northeast side of Glacier National Park. It is a five-story building that was built in 1915 in the Swiss chalet style by the Great Northern Railway for guests to stay. When you walk inside, you feel like you've been transported back in time. To maintain that feeling, there are no TVs or air conditioning. Really, no air conditioning? I mean, it was hot in Glacier. <laughs> like, I mean, there were days that were like in the 90s, no air conditioning? No oh my God. Okay, cell phone coverage is not available and there are direct dial telephones for their 205 rooms. We are here at the Manny Glacier boat tour. We're gonna to go take a 45 minute boat ride across this gorgeous lake that we can't wait to show you. This is the one that didn't happen yesterday, but it's happening today. And we got to see a grizzly bear. We know it's a grizzly bear because it has a hump on its back where black bears have a rock. Grizzly bears do a lot of digging to find their food where black bears do a lot of climbing for their food. When looking at pictures of Glacier National Park, you are sure to find an image of the iconic Mount Grinnell. In the 1890s, a man named George Bird Grinnell started visiting this area. He became fluent in the Blackfeet language and later became an honorary chief. He loved the area so much, he headed a committee in 1896 to preserve the area and to help declare it as a national park. In 1910, President Taft signed the Glacier National Park Act. Grinnell would later be called the father of Glacier National Park. At the end of the lake, passengers can take a short 0.2 mile walk from Swift Current Lake to Lake Josephine. Once on the other side of the lake, you'll board the Morning Eagle vessel and take a peaceful ride across Lake Josephine. As you get towards the end of the lake, you'll see Salamander Glacier, named after its ship. The head is to the left and the tail is to the right. There's actually another glacier underneath Salamander Glacier called Grinnell Glacier. To see it, it's a 7.2 mile hike from where the boat drops you off. Or you can hike from the Many Glacier Hotel, but it'll be a total distance of 10.6 miles. It's considered strenuous with 1,600 feet of elevation change. At the end of the boat ride, you can either choose to stay on the boat and ride it back, hike back to the hotel, hike to Grinnell Lake, or hike to Grinnell Glacier. We decided to hike back to the hotel and enjoy some time in nature. fun. So we hope that you enjoyed the many glacier tour that we just did and the walk around the lake. So the plan at this point is we are wrapping up our glacier series. We're going home tomorrow. So the rest of the evening, we're gonna have dinner, we're packing and tomorrow we're driving away. Sad to leave, but happy to see tiny dog. <laughs> yeah, and it over.
forget about Tiny Cat. Tiny Cat too. Okay. If you enjoyed this series, please, please, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do all the fun things that we enjoy and that you know you would enjoy also. And for this one, we are out. We'll see you in the next adventure. Bye. That was fun. So we just completed the mini glacier boat tour that we did from the two lakes over here. Then we walked back around Lake, forgot the name.